with court announcing it will decide whether former president and current presidential candidate Donald Trump is eligible appear on ballot in Colorado. Important questions are likely to be asked for U.S. Supreme Court and likely have major ramifications for country. The court's decision to consider issue follows a ruling by Colorado's highest court that Trump was involved in insurrection and was therefore barred from appearing on state's GOP primary ballot under Section 3 of 14th Amendment to U.S. Constitution. Maine's Secretary of State also excluded Trump from the state's primary ballot. And more than a dozen states are considering similar moves. Naomi Shalit, the conversation's senior politics and democracy editor, spoke with Notre Dame election law expert Derek Muller about Supreme Court's decision to take case. This decision will be based on court's interpretation of change made in post-Civil War period. Being engaged in rebellion or rebellion from holding political office on a scale of 1 to 10. How big is this? In terms of potential impact, this is a 10. This means preventing a former president from appearing on the ballot because of his participation in the insurrection. This is first major and substantive use of this provision of the Constitution since Civil War. This first time a presidential candidate was kept off ballot, and a previous candidate who by far leader in Republican Party nomination. But on the other hand, what are the chances of this actually happening? This is more speculative, and so the number is probably less than 10. But you have to temper that by saying, there's a chance it could flip and then Trump shows up on the ballot and it mostly disappears. There's no way they could decide the case without about half the country thinking they're partisan. Hacks. Stanford legal expert Michael W. McConnell said in the Washington Post this is a binary choice that either strengthens the Republican candidate or prevents voters from electing him. So when you have a choice in such stark political and partisan terms, everything the Supreme Court does will often be viewed through that lens by many voters. I think there's a reason why there should be as much effort as possible internally to reach consensus within court to avoid appearance of partisanship on court, appearance of division on court. If there is consensus, it is more difficult for the public to point fingers at one side or the other. The court always decides issues that have important political consequences. But deciding questions in the context of an upcoming election feels different. The justices granted only Trump's objection to consider the case, not the Colorado Republican Party. Is this important and if so, how? The Colorado Republican Party and the Trump campaign were on two different tracks in their appeals. When you accept both cases, you invite two sets of lawyers and parties to participate and increase the complexity. I just think the decision to accept true.